What are redwoods? Either of two giant conifers with thick fibrous barks, native to California and Oregon. They are the tallest known trees and are among the largest living organisms. Use the names of other, chiefly tropical trees with reddish timber. In fact, two of the three species of redwoods seen in California are the giant sequoia and coastal redwoods. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be your host today, Donald Trout, and we are at the beautiful Redwood Reserve in Los Altos, California. And today with me, I have Dr. Nancy Bass. Hello. Doctor, thank you for joining us. Thank you. So, uh, let's just get a quick debriefing. What usually, what type of animals or plants usually live in these redwood environments? Well, I'm glad you asked that, Mr. Trout. That's a great question. You're gonna see a whole lot of. Well, unfortunately, the redwoods do not provide enough food for the surrounding environment as when they're needles, they produce acidic materials. Once they drop into the soil, it actually becomes toxic. So for these animals around, there's, there's not much food, like I said. So you're not going to see too many animals, but I want to say plant ratio, you will. Well, besides insects and arachnids, you're going to see... Wait, 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 wait. Like but, arachnids like spiders? Yeah, of course. I can't do but, this interview, guys. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. John, where are you? We got to get out of here. Am I getting paid for this? So, like I was saying, you're going to see a lot of banana slugs, you're going to see squirrels, chipmunks. If we just take a look around and you hear the sounds of this beautiful forest, you hear a lot of songbirds as well, which is really nice. You know, I think it's very soothing. So, um, a lot of plants, you'll see different kinds of ferns of the species. You'll see um, California Bay, poison oak, watch out. You know, you're going to see a lot of different species of organisms in this forest. Did you know that the coastal redwoods are the tallest of the redwood family? They are. <laughs> They're also the tallest in the world! <laughs> oh, are we recording? Okay. Alright, redo. So, Dr. Bass, what kind of locations or areas could we find redwoods in? That's a great question. Well, a lot of the coastal regions is where you're going to find most of the redwoods. So we're talking northern, central, and southern. You're also going to find a lot of redwoods inland. Have you ever been to Yosemite? There's plenty there. But that's going to be inland central as well. Hey there! Fun fact number two. Some of the earliest redwoods showed up right after the dinosaurs. That's old. Because redwoods require moisturized soil, walking around the bark of the trees actually damages them as you compact the soil. Okay, Dr. Bass, so we've talked a lot about the ecology of the redwoods. Right. So what climates could we find the coastal redwoods and uh, giant sequoias in? Well, for coastal redwoods, temperature really is moderate all year round. So in the winter, you're going to get a lot of heavy rains, which is great because it's going to bring in a lot of moisture that that tree needs. In the summer, dry months, you're going to need moisture again. So the dense fog rolls in and it brings that moisture that it needs. That's awesome. Awesome. Oh my god, did you guys forget about me? Oh, I'm, so I'm sorry. Uh, this is Nalina Cod, my, uh, my help. Uh, so Ms. Cod was it? Yes, yes. Awesome. Okay, so um, is there any more information you can elaborate on? Yes, the uh, giant sequoias are usually found in humid areas and can also be characterized by snowy winters and dry summers. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So another cool thing about the redwoods is that some of them are so big, they can be an entire habitat to some species, like this one. Did you know that in fact over 400 species of bird- 400? In fact, about 280 species of birds live in the redwood environment. Along with those are elks, black bears, and mountain lions. Hey everyone, I'm Tina Tuna. I'm going to be continuing the interview process with Dr. Bass and Ms. Cod. Hello. Hi. So what can you two tell us more about um, climate change and the drought that the redwoods have suffered through? I'm glad you asked, Ms. Tuna. So the giant sequoias are most at stake here with the redwoods. They rely on winter packed snow grounds to recharge that moisture back into them for dry summer months. 
Although, since the climate has changed, winter, we're not seeing a lot of snowfall or moisture at all. So in the summer, it's a lot dry, the soil's not very rich in moisture at all. And with no rain coming in, that's a factor as well. And is it, um, and it is not as severe for the coastal redwoods because the, the and it is not the drought is not as severe for the coastal redwoods as they rely on fog for moisture. Fun fact, redwoods can create their own rain by capturing fog on their leaves. The fog condenses on the needles and creates water droplets. It's raining. Forest fires create space for redwood seedlings to grow. In contrast, decades of fire suppression practices usually result in the accumulation of dead plant material that may fuel intense destructive fires. Redwoods can usually survive natural forest fires because of their thick protective bark. Redwood trees are able to have long lifespans because of the species' thick, tannin-rich bark and heartwood. Its red appearance is also from the high levels of tannic acid present in these tissues. Tannins destroy proteins, nucleic acids, and alkaloids of invading predators and pathogens, protecting the attacked plant from harm. Redwoods. The temperature is really moderate all year round. So in the <laughs> Dude, you I can't smile. Why can't I smile? Because Why you're going, smile? Because you're like <laughs> Yo, you gotta back up for oh making me laugh. <laughs> can I stand on this side? <laughs> what? Let's can go. I stand on this side so Why? I don't see because I see her and I laugh. Oh my god. <laughs> just ah, go it okay, okay, let's go. Just go. Don't put Hi. that Spanish no, part in. So, the idea is that you're far away. I'm gonna come yeah, so in. Get, over, get a mile away from us. Okay. We don't want you in our shot. Oh my god. No, you're you gonna, the idea you is you're far away. Do you see what we have to work with? Okay, okay, okay. That's the idea. You're not gonna just be like right there. It's like you're catching up to us kind of thing. Okay, got it. Go. Alright. Let's do this. Dogs. They're dogs. Okay. Did you know actually 280 species of birds live in the redwood environment, along with that black bears and mountain lions. And elks. Whatever, f*** the elks. So, uh, Nalina Cod, was it? <laughs> Dude, we don't have time for this, guys. Nalina.